All right, so good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the mod of Redemption. Let me start today's video by just saying a massive thank you if you're one of the people that wished me a happy birthday yesterday. My birthday was amazing. Courtney went out of her way to make it really special. Like I came down in the morning and my house was themed like a lockdown and it was really cool. Not only did the whole of Couch Gang come out to wish me happy birthday, but a bunch of other YouTubers did as well, and even YouTube themselves, which was a big moment for me. YouTube have never ever acknowledged me, but they said, happy birthday, James. And I really appreciated it. No joke, it actually made the day just a little bit more special. But welcome back. Today's episode's gonna be a lot of fun, actually. I'm quite excited. So in the last episode, we got absolutely stomped by a boss, which is probably the first time we've been stomped by anything in this mod. And I quite like that. I like that we actually have a challenge that we need to rise up and beat. So today, I imagine we're probably going to make a lot of upgrades. In case you didn't see it, we fought the infected eye. Now, I will say this fight didn't last very long because we got killed very quickly. All right. So we didn't really get to see the full fight. It may have had multiple phases, but I feel like in today's episode, we need a set of wings. We need better armor. We need... I don't know, do we need a better weapon? Probably so. I actually got some recommendations from you lot, and hopefully I remember them. But one thing that was very interesting, we killed a mini boss and we received a teddy. Now, this teddy here, the abandoned teddy, the little item description says, let the keeper's spirit rest. Now, the top comment on the last episode said, I'm not going to spoil anything, but go and refight the keeper. So, I thought that is what we'll do today. We'll refight the Keeper and see what this little surprise could be. I am very excited about this. And I tell you what, I actually really appreciate the fact that you didn't spoil it. Thank you very much. I mean, I don't know how big of a spoiler it possibly could have been. Um, but that's cool. I appreciate that. Oh my god, the mythical pot. It must be protected at all costs, okay? Right? It may have been a birthday, but I'll never forget that. Yeah, it was a great birthday. I got some I got some really nice gifts actually. I'll try and like talk about them throughout the episode to not like dominate it, but um but yeah, I'm very satisfied. I was I was very lucky this year, which is cool. Um okay, right. So where do we begin? I guess we begin by me trying to remember what upgrades you lot recommended. So I think the first thing was an armor called the Druid armor. It had Druid in the name. So that's what I need to find. Blossom Druid. This is it. This is what I needed, right? This... Oh, was it Forest Druids? Did we already have the Forest Druid? So, you need Forest Cores, and you need Silk. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. I hate to be like this, but I might have actually already forgotten if I've made this. I'm sorry. Right, let's search it. Druid. No, okay, we didn't. All right, interesting. Wow. I'm surprised I didn't make this, unless it is like um, a hard, hard, hard mode thing. I almost said hardcore. I was like, James, remember the series. So to get this, you need forest cores. And forest cores... Are oh, okay, right. So it is hard mode. Perfect. So this is made from living twigs. And good thing is, we actually farmed a bunch of these and souls of light. So this is what we're working on. And I presume that this is probably... So let's, let's actually do a double check. So this is 15 defense. This is 8. I imagine this is something that we're going to get from a boss uh, later on, maybe. I don't know. You lot can let me... Is that a golden watering can? You're joking. No way. Teeny tiny golem little watering can. I already love it. What? Terraria's will. This is Terraria's will. To run fast and never look back. It's mine too. Oh my god. There's a lot of good stuff here. Wisp stuff. Wow. We've uncovered a lot. We have uncovered a lot. So souls of light. We need souls of light. Alright. We can work on that. Um, the, the weapon that I saw recommended was... I think it was called the Crystal Staff, or Crystal Stave. So let's have a little look. Uh, crystal Stave, let's see. You would think it would be like down here. Um, I don't, all right, okay, it's clearly not these. These look very cool though. Crystal Stave, here we go. So this is some more of those. You need Crystal Shards, Souls of Night, and Souls of Light. Okay, okay, okay. We have a clear plan. We need to do the Keeper at night time, but let's see. So, this area here, I think because we're so far right. So, I think this is our Corruption here. So, this will be our Hallowed here. 
Maybe that, maybe, no, we already, yeah, there you go. That's confirmed on the map. So we need to be below this ice biome, probably. So maybe we'll make a clear path down around here. All right, okay, we've got a plan. we got a plan. This is good, this is good. Okay, let's let's head into the ice biome. We'll start working on the souls of night, or souls of light, rather, um, for the armor. And then we'll um, we'll check back here at night time and, uh, and do the keeper. This is good. I was, <laughs> I thought I would mess this intro up. I really did. I was like, nah, you're, you're going to forget half the stuff that people recommended. Not today. All right. So the plan is we're just going to dig down. Oh, oh, no way. All right. All right. Wow. It's weird to think that all this time, that little, like, that little path that we started so long ago was directly above this area. I had no idea. I didn't know when to come to this area again. So, to my understanding, this is the laboratory, or part of it, maybe. I'm going to assume yes, but if you lot know, do let me know, because maybe we'll go and check this out. But I know that it's not time for this yet, so I'm not going to push it and try and get in. But it looks great. It looks a little bit different than um, the one that I saw. And that's, that does make me think a little bit that it might be um, a different one, but I, I don't know. But we'll leave that for now. If a mod of redemption expert does want to sound off in the comments below, let me know. Give me a, give me an idea. But yeah, we'll, we'll dig around it for now. So yeah, going on to my my birthday. Got some some wonderful presents. Uh, it was nice. My family sent me a bunch in the post, which is uh, which is really kind of them. So one of the things I got, which I think a lot of you will appreciate, um, I think as it plays into a good stereotype, I got a teapot. Yeah, I got a loose leaf teapot, which is basically like. It's like a normal teapot, but instead of putting in tea bags, you put in uh, loose leaves. Um, and oh my god, right, it is actually a game changer. Like, the tea is so much nicer than uh, using a tea bag. I do think that that is probably the way to go. Now, you all know I'm mainly a coffee drinker, but I do enjoy a good cup of tea every now and again. So that was a, that was a really good gift because um, I already enjoy the fact that I always spend ages making a cup of coffee these days because I use a, a mocha pot. And, um, and that was cool. That was just a nice gift to get. Got lots of uh, tea leaves with it as well. Uh, my mum sent me a bunch of pyjamas. Always very grateful for that. When you work from home, pyjamas become the work uniform. Which I know sounds very lazy, but it is actually very uh, relaxing and enjoyable. I personally like it, right? Some people, to feel productive at home, they need to get up and get dressed. I, I, I don't need to do that. <laughs> I, I don't need to do that at all. Um, I mean... 95% of everything I record is in pajamas. So I got some pajamas. Very grateful for that. Courtney got me some new shoes. She got me Luigi's Mansion on the Switch, which I really did want. I've been wanting to play that game since it came out, but I never thought it was worth the price tag. So getting it as a gift is like, it's top tier. So I'm looking forward to playing that. Uh, what else did I get? Um, I got... Ooh, I'm trying to think. It's hard. I got some new aftershave. Always very grateful for that. Um... Yeah, I think, I think that sums it up. Oh, one of the best things is, um, Courtney had some stuff made based on the channel memes from Chippy's Couch, which was really cool. Um, so she doesn't watch Chippy's Couch, as you can imagine, because why would she, right? This is, that would be very bizarre. Um, but she knows about all the memes because of you lot tweeting me all the time. So she had a banner made for the cake around it, like a ribbon piece that said breakfast of champions because you lot always tweet me your birthday cakes. So she knew about that meme and that was really cool. So that made it in. Uh, she also had some like custom biscuits made, some like iced biscuits. So it had um, the Domino's Rolex. Instead, it wasn't a Domino's Rolex. It was um, a Kermit Rolex, which is a cool little name. For those that don't know, it's a, like, um, it's a black faced Rolex Submariner with a green bezel, it's really nice. Uh, I don't own one, <laughs> and probably never will, um, but yeah, she had that into a biscuit, she got small chippy as a biscuit, oh, it looks amazing, or a cookie if you're American, um, because I realise saying biscuit is like, for you, that's what we call, um, what is it, it's like a savoury scone for you lot, a biscuit, and then every biscuit is a cookie, I don't know, I don't really know, I don't know. I tell you what, though, I was thinking about this earlier as I was, like, getting prepped for the episode. I was, like, looking outside going, oh, man, the weather's really nice today. And I was thinking about the fact that I know a lot of you are American or just from other parts of the world because YouTube Analytics says so. Um, and I feel like I give you all a little a little slice of Britain. 
you know, with, with the way I talk, you get a little bit of an insight, you know? You, you're all well-traveled, all right? You're all very cultured because of me. Thank you. You're welcome. But I think the biggest thing I give you about English people is I talk about the weather whenever I get the chance to, which is a very English thing. It is. It's the first thing all people do when you see each other. You're like, oh, the weather's been nice. Yeah, you're going on holiday this year. That's it. That's like, that's the two talking points. Um, so there you go. Okay, right. We're trying to find the Hallows. Uh, haven't found it yet, but I think it's because I veered off to the left. I don't think it's had a lot of time to spread, especially because we didn't go ham on those demon altars. All right, so I've managed to find the Hallowed so we can start gathering some of those materials. Yeah, it made a lot of sense just to, to find the Hallowed on the surface and actually just dig below it. This is something I'm going to remember because I've always got a habit of going, well, here's the Hallowed, so I must be able to go over here. Yeah, I'm going to remember this. Every time I want to find the Hallowed, I'm just going to actually dig below where it already is on the surface. So, so far, we have eight souls of light and eight crystal shards. I think we need to get this number to 25. I don't actually know. How many souls of light do we need? Um, it's, oh, God. Christ, Christ. Uh, don't die. So, you only need one per five of these. So, you probably don't need that many. Okay, right. We're alive. God, that was awful. I, I really thought we were going to die. Um, so, some of you did ask, did my dad's vaccination go all right? Uh, yeah, went amazing. So he had the vaccination on his birthday, and it's been two days now. Hey, oh my god. What is with this YouTuber look? Every single series recently has been blessed with a, a biome king. It's so strange, like, I haven't had biome keys in a really long time, and then three series in a row, it's easy key farming. Yeah, um, the vaccination went well, no side effects, it's all been good. He has his booster jab in April, and my mum has hers in March. Now, the cool thing is, is basically, in Britain, the government said, oh, from the 15th of February, we're going to try and vaccinate uh, 65 and over. Um, but my dad actually turned 65 on February 15th, so it looks like they're already rolling it out in a very effective way. I'm honestly really happy with how it's going. Like, I don't know about the whole approach from the government overall, with this whole thing, I don't know. Um, but the vaccination side, yeah, it's going really, really well. Um, and it just puts my mind at ease. Oh, so one thing I do want to acknowledge is I know I've kind of let it slip with uh, with New Game Friday. It will be back. Um, I, I wanted to take a little bit of pressure off myself. I think setting it as a New Year's resolution was dumb. Looking back, I'm going to admit it. Mainly because I, I don't like doing things on certain days because I have to. Which is uh, which is weird. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to bring it back. I am excited to do more of it. I was really enjoying the little streak that we had of, of two of them. <laughs> so I do I do want to do more. Um, and I've got some games in the, in the works that I want to have a little look at. And I get recommendations, like good recommendations all the time. Mainly from Senex. <laughs> Senex is always like recommending good games for Good Game Friday. Like she was the one that recommended Wrath that gave me motion sickness. Still a cool looking game. And she tagged me in one the other day that was a... Uh, it's like it looked like a cafe simulator in a way. But it's right up my alley. Right, it is. Because I, I love stuff like that. So we'll see. We'll see. Get some more done soon. Oh, 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 oh. This is what I want to talk about. There's a Nintendo Direct tonight. Oh my god, I can't wait for that. I'm not getting excited, like too excited. Like I'm not expecting um, big, big news. Mainly because we're coming out of a, you know, one of the worst years of working from home. So I don't expect them to pull a big game out the back, all right? Like, I'm, I wouldn't, if that happened, I would be shocked. But if we can get like some good ports of some games that I haven't checked out, I would love that. I'd love some Zelda ports. For real, like that's what I would actually like, because it's um, it's the 35th anniversary of Zelda coming up. Oh my god, if we could just get an Ocarina of Time or a Majora's Mask port just for the Switch, like it doesn't have to be a remake, just a port. Oh, I'd be so happy. I don't know. Apparently, it's gonna have. Did it say it's gonna have some Smash news as well, something like that. I don't really play Smash, but I get excited for other people, so that'd be cool. Oh, I can't wait. Is it 10 o'clock for me tonight? In America, it's like 12. 12 in the afternoon. So probably by the time this episode's out, you, you lot are still waiting around for it. Um, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be good. So I'm getting excited now. I said I wouldn't, but I actually kind of am. 
So all I need now is a, a rod of discord and then my luck is going to be like ultra amazing. Yeah, so this only needed 25 of these. So we could probably do some quick math here. So we need for this 8 plus 4, so 12 plus 6 is 18. So we only needed a couple of these. So I think we might have... We might have everything we need other than the uh, Souls of Night. So let me quickly go find the Corruption then. We'll grab the Souls of Night. We'll get the upgrades. Oh, 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 oh. Tell you what it is. It's time for the Keeper. Yeah, let's go do the Keeper real quick. This gives us a, a good reason to, to be back. Also, I do need to look at... We probably won't do it today. Uh, but we do need to look out for, um, for the special eyeball that we needed to get the summoning device for the boss that we kind of used in the last episode. Do you know what I'm on about? Man, talking is talking is really hard. Have you have you like ever noticed that? Talking it's strange. I don't know why. I, it's so funny that just like in real life, I don't really stammer and I don't really like I can speak fluently. I think it's the better way. Noob the fool was slain. Oh, is that me? Oh, it's, it must be an alternate reality. That's definitely me. Um, in real life, I don't talk like that. Second I'm on a microphone, I'm just like, uh, uh, can't get it out. Okay, right. So we have the teddy. So what we'll do is we'll bang um, all of this stuff in the chest just so we're not taking it. Uh, bop, don't need it. Okay, get rid of all that. Then I need to get the tablet back out since I bopped it in there. Uh, potions, 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 potions. I don't know if this is going to be a particularly hard boss, if I'm being honest. But we'll just maybe anticipate that it will be. Oh, I tell you what, let's um, let's get the hunter potion as well. Uh, just so we can have a better look at it. Alright, so yeah, going into this. Oh, this is the eyeball we need. Yeah, going into this, I don't know if this is going to be really hard or it's going to be like interesting. Do you know what I mean? And that's the item we needed. Alright. We got the teddy. Bam. Here is the keeper. The keeper noticed the abandoned teddy you're holding. Oh, She starts to remember something. Pain, anger, sadness, all those feelings washed away. She only feels at peace. You... Oh, okay. Wow. That was really... Oh, oh Christ. Oh Christ. <laughs> oh God. Is that it? Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, we've been we've been duped. <laughs> we've been baited. Oh, that was really wholesome. Most skeletons become friendly. Wow. I love that. Thanks, guys. Thanks for not ruining that. Because that was actually a really special moment. This this mod really shines with those moments. And I want the mod developers to know that. This is your strongest point, and you've got to double down on it. It it's unique. Maybe you can craft a bigger story, a scope throughout the game. Because I would love to see that with the the templates that you use, you know, with the text coming over. You build a world out, and I really do love it. That's what drew me to this mod. You don't have to be the hardest mod in the world. You don't have to have the craziest bosses in the world. You don't have to be a Calamity or a Thorium. You can be the mod of redemption. And I really love that. Okay. Souls of Night. Oh, so I should say, by the way, uh, I keep getting these, like, rare creatures, uh, the Mimics, the Hallowed, and the Corruption ones. Uh, I'm just not doing them right now because I feel like it's just not going to go well for me. I also don't want to save the Stylist either because uh, I don't really need her right now. And to be honest, I'm sorry. Look, if I can't get a haircut in real life, I don't need a haircut in Terraria. But I, I do miss haircuts. I really can't wait. So I don't actually... This is the truth. I don't actually know when Britain is meant to end its lockdown. I'm going to be honest. I haven't really been keeping up with the news that that well. I also don't care in reality. Just, you know, I'm fine staying in for now, right? Wow, seven souls of night? Really? What? <laughs> All right, that's a little balmy, but I'll take it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really bothered, but oh my god. I can't wait. Second that lockdown's lifted, I'm getting a haircut, right? <laughs> now here is getting too long, and I hate it. I used to have really long curly hair when I was younger, but not anymore. I, I can't stand it. I, I need short hair or short-ish hair. That's the thing about getting older. I'm sure a lot of you have probably felt this, but you can kind of signify age by just getting shorter and shorter hair. I know some people com completely break the mold, and that's they use their later life to really grow their hair long. 
But, you know, for me, it's I'm, I'm taking the short haircut route. All right, well, I guess that's done. We didn't really need anything more than that. So, let us deposit all that in there. Now, I don't know if this is going to make me uh, get an adamantite forge or anything. So, we'll make the... I think they're called cores, aren't they? We'll make some cores. And it turned out we only needed, like, 25 in total. So... Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, what? I thought these made five, right? Oh, what am I on about? Why did I... Why did I think these made five? Oh, so we might not actually have enough. Okay. Um... Oh, got in. <laughs> oh, yeah. We don't. We have 11. Oh, great. All right. Well, back to farming then. So, I've just got to buy a couple more living twigs... Oh, wait, no. Wait. <laughs> All right, I, I clicked the wrong button. Yeah, I just got to buy a couple more of these. And then we should be good to have all the cores that we need. Once again, I haven't really looked up if I need a, an adamantite forge. I don't think I do. Uh, but we'll see. All right. Um, how many have we got? 24? All right, we needed 25. Now, we also needed silk, didn't we? And we needed a lot of it. So we only have six pieces. Now we have 77. All right, that's probably enough. Uh, yeah, okay. Druid. All right, it's here. So, forest druid armor. So, bang. Um, bop. And shazam. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Um, all right, let's have a little look. So, throw seed bags faster. Spirits shoot faster. And staves cast faster. Do you lot have a recommended seed bag that I should make now? I actually haven't really been keeping up with it all that well. So, 28 defense, slap that on. 37, and the set bonus is spirit home in on enemies. So, yeah, a really good upgrade there. Uh, and I actually quite like the hood. Yeah, I do. It kind of looks like I'm wearing a, a druid hoodie. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so... Uh, we also want to make the crystal uh, stave. Crystal stave. Bop. Okay. Let's see then. So, this does 40 druidic damage and apparently shoots a cluster of crystal shards. Let's see it. Hey, that's kind of cool. It's like the, um, ah, what's it called? The crystal serpent. What's the right click? Oh, right click? Does it not have a right click? Oh, Oh, okay. All right. Um, wow. I'm kind of not in, like, I'm kind of not used to that. So we'll just right click that and then we'll use this. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. New weapon, new height. Let's see how powerful it is. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty powerful. I feel like this one is a little bit more OP just because of the gravity effect, but it's good to have two of them. Right. So what do we do now? I guess we work on getting Hmm, do we work on getting wings? See, the thing is, we can either buy wings or we can try and make them. Oh, I tell you what, it is raining. So if I head to the ice biome, if we can kill an ice golem, maybe tomorrow then we'll make um, frozen wings. All right, let's, let's get to the ice biome quick. And then we'll use our gravity ability to kill the golems. Ooh, okay, there's an ice golem over here. So we need to, we need to drag it over here. Man, I'm really liking the rear detection meter. It's really cool. Like, I feel like I'm just so in the loop about everything. Oh, wait, I can't right click. Yeah, we just used it, didn't we? Oh my god, the gravity effect is so good. <laughs> I really do love it. Look, you can basically make him fly if you just keep dragging it up. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I, yeah, this is, this is maybe a little bit broken. I don't know. It's just too good. <laughs> it's funny when you've got an enemy like this that just doesn't die. So it just kind of just lingers there. All right, frost core. Okay. All right, let's linger around a little bit more then. Let's get the icy feather. All right, so we've got a chance at another one. So let's keep this going. Let's see what our crystal damage really is, though. It is good. I'm not going to lie, but yeah, I I'd rather use this. Uh, I guess if you were doing a boss and you couldn't use the gravity effect, you probably would use the crystal. But yeah, when you can basically trap an enemy like this, why, why would you use anything else? You know? Okay, let's see. Feather. Come on. Feather time. Are we gonna get it? My gut says no. Yeah, I was right. <laughs> I don't know why I just... It didn't feel right, you know? Alright, so I imagine this will probably be the last one that I get to do. 
uh, because this blizzard's been going on for uh, for more than a day now, and uh, yeah, I think it's going to run out soon. So what we'll do is, if I don't get this today, we'll we'll just get it tomorrow. You know, I can always come back. It's always raining in Terraria at some point. So yeah, we're really playing the Terraria lottery now. Oh god, so it's a blood moon right now, and just all the enemies are getting sucked in. I just got to be careful because they keep kind of yeah, they're bopping into me. And there we go. All right, man. YouTuber look. I'm like, oh, this is the last one. That's when we get it. Amazing. It's almost like I knew. Right, so I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, these are just such a blast to record. Uh, I'm really glad the response is. Christ. I mean, it's not... Um, let's be honest here. We all knew I was going to die. Yeah, the responses to these have been amazing. Thank you. Uh, a big shout out to our channel members rolling by on screen right now. Um, but that is it. I'll be back tomorrow for some more Mod of Redemption. So I'll see you then. Right? See you in the next one. Peace.